Hello everyone. So, I haven't uploaded in a little while and I thought, you know, I might as well to help some people with some questions that I've been recently getting. One of them that I wanted to really uh, tab on to is love spells. You know, really easy, really easy love spells that will get you results quickly. And I noticed that there's a lot of questions on those. How do you do them? What are all the things that you do? So I'm going to provide a little bit of an easier one that you can get anywhere. So, pestle and mortar. Some low John wort. Some rose petals. Right here. Some peony root. Just a little bit. And some St. John's wort. So, all pretty easy things to get. And basically, you just want to add all these to your pestle and mortar. Right? So, just a little bit. Right here. And here's a stem. Stems work express especially well because they carry the nutrients that the flower needs through them. So go ahead and put all that in there. And actually want to add the peony root. It's not that hard. Go ahead and try to mash it up. So once you're done mashing it up, it should look like kind of flat. Just break it apart, super easy to break. And just kind of slide it in there for a little. Whoop. Make sure you're getting everything in there. So you want, now you want some low John Ward. Not too hard to find. You can find it to the new mag magic store. Go ahead and get a little bit of it. Maybe like that much. You don't want too much. You know, low John is actually a very, very good replacement for high John. It has the same qualities and it's actually really, really uh, cheaper. So I suggest that you get low John instead of high John. So now we have St. John's work. Let's go ahead and get one pinch of that. No more than a pinch should work. And you just want to crush that up. Not too hard. Keep on mixing until you get something like this, you know? Not too much rose petal in it. You can kind of see kind of like a dark birch type thing. That's what you want. Now, I have this preset piece of um, paper right here. Love paper. Now uh, this would work with money but with different spices because the spices kind of forward your intention into the paper. So remember if you want money use a uh, five finger grass, salt, maybe even some pickling spice which is really good for money. Now you want to take a pinch and we'll put it in the center of this love paper. We don't need this anymore. Okay. You want to fold it up into somewhat of like a parchment type thing. Go ahead and fold it over once. Over. All right. Fold it over again. Turn to the right and fold it over again. Fold it over again. And now you have this right here. Go ahead and take a piece of string. Any string works. I like to use red for love or pink. And you just want to get just a little bit of it. Then you want to wrap it around this. Now this is the hard part for me. I am very clumsy, so wrapping around it is not very easy at all for me. So once you tied it, it should look something a little bit like this. Go ahead and cut off the ends. Okay. And you can go and throw these away. Couldn't decide right now. Then you want to take out your pestle and mortar that you still have all the stuff in. And into a bag. Any sort of bag should work. You can either use a jar or a bag. 
I go ahead and have a few jars that I just shake a little bit whenever I want them active. Pretty easy. Go ahead and pour it in. Right, all of it. And you should have just this bag with a parchment paper and a little bit of other stuff in it. Go ahead and shake. Now, what does this do? Why, why would this work? So basically what you're doing is you're putting your intentions into this paper along with a few spices so that way they can hold your intentions and you're putting it into a bag which also is holding other spices. Now, when you shake it, the intentions are slowly coming out of this little piece of parchment paper and into these other spices and kind of activating the magic. So go ahead and shake. It, it really depends on how hard you shake is how soon they'll fall in love with you. So let's say I'm shaking for a minute, right? That takes around a day off of my main time. So if it took three days on average, which is what I found to work, three days is when it will work. So let's say if I'm shaking for two minutes, that's only one day for it to work. This will actually work in quarantine if you do it correctly. Uh, you will have to have their phone number, sadly, so that way they can contact you. But if you don't have their phone number, that is fine. Uh, they, it, if you shake long enough, they will actually, once quarantine is out, come to you, basically. I hope this helped you guys. You know, we're all needing love at these times. Some people more than others. So, if you did like it, please go ahead and comment down below. If you guys need any help, comment down below. I will be kind of looking at those within the first few days of me posting this. I hope you guys like the video. Peace out.